Today we're gonna do just a quick video about how to re-thread a drawstring. So I took the drawstring out of my husband's basketball shorts. Hopefully he doesn't get mad. Let's see, here's the drawstring. They're elastic, so it's really not even that important, but they can come out of hoods and pants and it's very unfortunate when that happens. Now, of course, I have to find where the holes were. Is this the back or the front? Oh, they were in the middle. <laughs> they were on the inside. Okay, so the first way I'm going to show you is with this handy tool that you can buy. I think I bought this at Joann's. You might be able to buy this at like Walmart or Michael's um, or Joann's Hobby Lobby probably. So it has, let's see if you can see that, two holes at one end. And it's just a long stick. It's in the package, I think, like this. So if you go looking for it, um, you know. So how you do this is you weave this stick through the drawstring section. So see, I'm in the, the hole part. I do that. And then I just push it all the way through. And it can get stuck up, especially these are a little stretchy. So it's kind of hard to like get it in there. I'll show you another way after this. But the stick is really flexible. These pants are like permanently gathered. So that's why I keep getting caught up on the gathers. And of course, once you get more than halfway there, it's a little tricky because the, you have to really like fold it and stuff it. You just work it through. The seams, you have to make sure you find in the middle of the seams. Not get caught up on the seam allowance. Seam allowance is a little bit of extra fabric between where you stitched and the edge of the fabric. So that gets pressed flat inside garments and that's why you can get kind of stuck in that a little bit. Keep going. And if you lose the stick end, it's not a big deal because it's that part is stiff. So you can work that back out really easy and it's a blunt end. It's not pointy like the one you're working through right now. Almost there. See, I just have this much left. Obviously the bigger the item, the little bit trickier it is to get it all on this stick together. I'm stuck right here. I got it caught on a loose thread in there. Back. Probably should have used my kids' clothes instead. I couldn't find anything that was a functioning drawstring on my kids' clothes, though. It's all like stitched down. All right, almost there. Got it. Okay. So now you have both ends sticking out. <clears throat> You're going to take the end of the drawstring, put it in the hole. Oh, tell me this isn't going to fit. Eh, it's not going to fit in the littler one. It should fit in the bigger one. It's like a they hard plastic to the end. You do this a lot with like ribbons. It's easier. I'll get it in. gonna make a joke. All right, so that's in. It is pointy in the loop, if you can see that. It's pointy, so when you pull it back, it'll get kind of caught up in that point, which is good. And that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna take from this end and you wanna work it back through. Okay. 
until it comes back out the other end. Ta-da! Then you just remove it and your drawstring is redone. That's it. I'm going to re-knot this now so it doesn't come back out. But that's the easy way to do it with this tool. Oh, I shouldn't have re-knotted it because I'm going to do it again. Oh, Amy. I knotted that really well. <laughs> All right. So that's the way to do it with that tool. The tool I feel like is $10. It's really not a lot. If you're someone who loses a lot of drawstrings or one of your kids or spouse loses a lot of drawstrings, it's worth getting. If you can't find it in the store, just order it online. Just, I don't even know what it's called. Drawstring threader, puller, something like that. All right, so if you don't have that, you can use a safety pin. The bigger the pin, the better. This is all I could find right now in my house. So I'm gonna pull this back out. I know, it kind of took a while. Now what you're gonna do is put the end of the string on the pin. I like to puncture it twice and close the pin. If it's kind of a loose pin, I mean, I don't recommend this, but I'm going to do this right now. Bite it so it's a little less loosely opened. And now you're just going to take the pin because the pin is a hard object and you're going to weave that through the whole waistband and it'll be the same kind of struggle that you had with the stick, getting the stick through. And it also takes a little longer because you got to like, you can only work like a couple inches at a time. You gotta just feel it through. Just weave it, pull. But a safety pin is something that most people have somewhere in their house. Or you can always get the little sewing kits. I mentioned those in the button video. Um, at any convenience store, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Dwayne Reed, I'm trying to think of all those convenience stores I know about. Um, they all sell little sewing kits. They're like this big, little packages, and they have like needles, a few colors, thread, maybe a button, a safety pin. I'm trying to think what else is in those things. That might be it. Tiny scissors. Oh, they have like a needle threader in there if you need such a thing essentially the same idea as the drawstring threader. It's just a tiny little metal thing with a little looped wire that you put the thread in and then stick that through the eye of the needle. So that's a good thing to have just in general in your possession in case an emergency happens. Yeah, see now I'm stuck on my seam allowance at center back. So you gotta, when that happens, you just want to push the pin back a little bit. You have to do a lot of this by feel, and that's a lot of sewing in general. You want to try it, and there is the edge of the seam allowance. You just got to keep working it until you figure it out. That's why a bigger pin is better. Bigger pin, you can kind of just bulldoze, you know, just push past the seam allowance and not worry. It'll fold the way you want it to. But little pins like this one, they just get stuck. What is going on in here? This is why you want to get the drawstring threader. Is that it? I don't even feel what it's getting stuck on. I know the label's in there. I don't know if they folded the label in. Just get through. I'm about to open this up and getting annoyed. There's like four layers in there. They must have stitched the elastic to it there and that's part of the problem. Oh, I think I got it. Yep. 
so you'll figure it out. This is trickier and more time consuming for sure than the threader. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You don't wanna throw out a whole hoodie or pair of pants because the drawstring got lost. Almost done. You want to keep stretching it out like that to suck the drawstring in from the other end because you're not going to be able to just keep pushing it and pushing it without more thread in there. Or cord, I guess you would call it. Almost there, it's got this much more. And again, the bigger needle would have made this go faster. But it is what it is. I mean, the pin, they make like, like two inch safety pins. There it is. Ta-da. You just unpin it. Now I can re-knot it, because I'm not taking it out again. And we now have functioning drawstring yet again. So there you go. Two ways to rethread a lost drawstring. Good luck.